What do we have here? I am going to show you something that you probably don't know how to do or haven't done it very much. This is a little drawing. It's an electrical drawing a guy gave me for demonstration purposes only. And I want to show you how to read a set of electrical drawings. Now this is just one sheet. Generally you might have five or six sheets if it's a remodel job or a, a new house or something like that, this is just one sheet. So I've got to unroll this out, but it keeps want it keeps wanting to fold back up on me. You see? So what I do is I'll take it upside down, and I just kind of get it set because I'm going to set it out on this table, and I want to read it properly. So I'll just kind of do this business to it and make it so that it's going to fold and lay easier, you know? Last thing I hate is to read a set of plans that keep wanting to roll up on me, even if it's one sheet like this one. And if this was eight or nine sheets, like a small little project, a remodel job or kitchen or whatever, I'll do the same thing to it. There we go. See there? That's your first step. What's all that gobbledygook? Look at all that. Do you know heads or tails what you're looking at? Here's a bunch of stuff over here. And here's a drawing. And to the untrained eye, you may not w think and know what that is. Here's some stuff over here. Now this is an electrical plan. And I'm going to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at. Now, man, I wish my camera would get a little bit clearer. And, but, you know, when I zoom in, it's just going to get that much closer. But... I'm going to kind of show you what we're looking at here so that you have a better understanding of it. Let me briefly tell you what's going on. It's, uh, this is like a small little home. And this is where all the living area is. And if I look on here closely, this over here is where the garage is. Here's a garage door uh, opener. And this is where the garage door is. Here's the... Uh, the driveway and here's the walk area up to the front door. There's a little breezeway foyer area there. And here's where the front door is. And anytime you see lines like, like this with little dots on it, you know that's concrete. And that's what I'm seeing here. It's a concrete pad going up to the foyer, is what they call it. And then here's your front door. And then this whole area. Here's a bedroom here. Here's another bedroom over here. Here's one here. This area looks like a little den or an office. And here's a couple uh, bathrooms in here. And some closets. And here's the kitchen over here. Well, this really wasn't about how to read an entire set of plans that way. But I guess you've got to know that to understand where all of this other electrical goes because what I'm seeing here is there's electrical outlets here light switches here and it has a whole schematic of where ceiling fans are and lights plugs and all that and the reason why I know that is I look over here and there's a legend here and this shows where all the associated areas are and see how it's numbered here, E01, E02, E03, O4. And then you look over on the other side, and it shows like E01 number. The quantity is 5, and then there's a description. Classic ceiling fan, light fixture, Cordovan is what that is. And so you have to look at all that in order to understand where everything goes over here on the set of plans. It's kind of time-consuming to do this, but if you 
are planning on doing something yourself and somebody gives you a set of plans, you've got to understand how this stuff works so, so that you can know where to put the plugs or know where you want somebody else to put the plugs. And see this over here, electrical data audio legend. So there's symbols. All these little symbols are on the set of plans over here and each symbol is explained on what it is. So as you look at that, you'll know, let's look at a 240 volt receptacle. See that? See this here? There's a circle and there's three lines on there. That's a 20, 240 volt, that V is volt receptacle. So that's a wall plug. And that's for 240 volt. Now on most plugs is 110 volt. This is US we're talking about. You see this? Those plugs right there. 110 V volt receptacle duplex weatherproof GFCI. Hmm. That's what those are. Right there, see, WP is weatherproof, GFCI is the other, and if it doesn't have anything, then it's just a standard receptacle. That's a standard one. This is weatherproof, meaning for exterior conditions, so anything on the outside of the house. GFCI, this one here, and it says GFCI. Now, not all of them say that. So we look on the plans, and that's kind of how you look at all that. See all that? It looks like dollar signs. That's switch symbols. See? So everything has its meaning on a set of plans. Then we look at that legend, and then we cross-reference it over to here. Funny thing, to know how to understand where the electrical outlets and the plugs, switches, fans, lights are going to go. You have to understand what you're looking at here. Let's take a little bit closer look at this room right here. And as you look at this, you see this curve right here and this line here. That means that's a door. And the door swings into the room, and here's the door right up against the wall. Okay? Then there's a closet right here. And see how this line is going into the wall? That's like for a pocket door. That doesn't swing. There's no door that swings up against the wall. That slides into the wall. And then over here, here's, here's the other door right here. And then it curves like that. So it swings closed right there as it opened, it's opened up, and then you walk into the room. Now here's the next door opening, and there's another pocket door. Okay, so everything kind of has its place. So once you kind of understand that, you kind of have an idea of where to go next.